students, in the previous lecture we have studied the attitude control system. In that we have studied spin stabilization and next second method is a three axis stabilization. In the, this three axis stabilization method is generally provided or used for the non-cylindrical shape satellite. Spin, uh, spin stabilization method generally uses or used for cylindrical shape satellite. And uh, this three axis stabilization here, stabili stability is uh, generally, due uh, to this stability, it provides the gyroscopic effect of a flywheel. Generally, uh, in this three axis stabilization, first is a body stabilization. And this body stabilization is provided, or what is body stabilization? Generally, for power supply of satellites, solar cells are provided. And these are the rectangular shaped solar cells above and below of that satellite. And if we use these solar cells and uh, stabilization is provided with the help of above and below these uh, satellites, then it is called as a body stabilization. Then next is a, as, as mentioned, three axis stabilization. Satellite consists of three axis, roll axis, pitch axis, and yaw axis. And along this roll, pitch, yaw axis, generally momentum fields are provided. And these momentum wheels uh, are made up of metal discs driven by electric motor and uh, these momentum wheels are rotated with the help of gas jets these uh, momentum wheels are rotated and satellite three axes are stabilized therefore name given as three axis stabilization then in some cases satellite stabilization is provided through the command given by through the earth station and uh, uh, this uh, generally speed of that field is increased or decreased by using the gas jets. So this is the inside, uh, this three axis stabilization in that the, the three axis are stabilized with the help of momentum wheels. Then next is an orbit control system. As name indicates orbit control. We have to control the orbit of satellite. As previously mentioned, orbit changes due to the different orbital perturbations. That is the due to gravitational effect of sun and moon, atmospheric drag, earth's oblateness, then effect of um, sun transit outage, then solar eclipse, all these changes the satellite orbit. Therefore, function of this orbit control system is to keep satellite orbit in a uh, satellite at correct attitude position. Function is to keep satellite at correct attitude position. As we estimation, orbit changes due to the different disturbances. Then next is a, as shown in this figure, there are uh, in this orbit control system generally uh, correction. There is a for correction of orbit, linear acceleration is required. As linear acceleration is required, fields can cannot be used for the correction. Therefore, gas jets are used to control the uh, this uh, orbit. Generally. There are two types of corrections that is a uh, north south correction and west east correction. Generally, first east and west correction is uh, uh, firstly provided, and after two weeks, north and south correction is provided. Correction is provided as shown in this figure. How satellite is kept in a proper orbit, it is explained by this that is a uh, when velocity at right angles are uh, is applied, then. Uh, inclination reaches to zero when velocity at right angles is applied that is gas jets is applied along this side and when this angle becomes zero another jet thrust is applied along this direction that is when satellite orbit changes that is where is, this is satellite position and when satellite changes to this side then we have to apply gas jet along this side and when angle reaches to zero or when satellite comes to this position other gas jets is fired along this direction and satellite orbit is controlled. So this is a three axis stabilization and next is a orbit control system. Okay.